Okay, so this is a little Nintendo DS Lite that I've picked up from eBay. I don't know why the cover doesn't match the, the case. But I've picked this up for £9. And it's sold as faulty, won't turn on. There's no power. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a charging cable in and see if it charges. And surprisingly, the charging light does come on. Although the battery it does it's is it charging up 0.07 amp that could be just a little that could just be the little orange LED so the battery could be fully charged or something else could be wrong so the first thing to start off with is a known working battery so I've got a known working battery in this one so we'll take this battery out and we'll open this one up now <coughs> obviously the, the little rubber pads have gone so someone's been in here before so that's not a good sign. Are we going to have corrosion? So come on. It's got what looks like an original battery. And I cannot. Hang on. Where's the? Uh, uh, the the water, there should be a water damage sticker there, and uh, it looks like it's been removed. This could end up being a complete disaster. I've forgotten which battery was mine now. I'm forgetting which battery was me known working one. Let's try both batteries in this machine. Orange light. So that's a working battery. And I think this is the one I've just taken out. Green light. Yep. So both batteries are working. So there is something wrong with the console itself. With the corrosion stick I'm missing, I'm, I must admit I'm expecting the worst. There we go. Sure, there should be a water damage sticker down here too, somewhere.
Men så folk i... Men så folk i tykker på den. There's a spring missing, I think. No other springs in there. Well, it's not working very well. I think it's been dropped, perhaps, on this 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 little switch. It's got a bit of a wobble to it. Hmm. I was expecting to see something water damage. I think the first thing I'll do, I'll rule out the obvious, the obvious dirty switch problem. I think if someone's took the time to open this, then I would have expected them to have done this already. Nope. There's a fuse down here somewhere. We'll need to scope for that because my eyes aren't that good. So we'll check the fuse. We'll check to make sure we've got contact from these to the pins at the back. Right, well, someone's had a go. That doesn't look very Nintendo. The charging port looks a bit wonky. There's the broken shoulder switch. Ha! I've got a missing component. What's that? On this one, my spare board, it looks like an inductor. And on this one, it is totally missing. Which could be why it's not working. Let's see if we can replace that. I cannot imagine it's going to fix the fault because someone's... Someone's removed it, so they must have thought the board... ...wasn't worth saving. I'll check that fuse while I'm here. This one, I think this is it. Fuse is okay, and there's one at the top here. Fuse is okay. So we'll see if we can get this off, and we'll get this swapped over. What's missing? Is there anything missing from there? No. No, there's not. Get the solder and iron on. This has been perhaps dropped on the corner. But would that, sm would that smash off? It must have had some wallop if that's broken off. Pull this wire out the way. Oh, look at that. That's, that's been damaged as well. Let's give it a go. I don't know whether I should use a hot air station. This is just spray enough. Put some fresh solder on. Just getting a hold of it. Now we'll roll a bit of extra solder on. Okay. So that's the easy part. Now we'll have to try and get the 
the replacement part Now, get the replacement part off the donor board. It's a 220 typical. It's a 220. I've got three 100s and I've got one 220. I cannot see another 220 on this board. If I heat it up from the other side of the board, it should drop off. Or shall I use my new, I have some low solder, low temperature solder, I could try that. With a bit of a bit of flux. Oh, look at that. That came off very easy. Unfortunately, you probably couldn't see it very much because the microscope was a bit blurry. We're putting some, it's, it's bismuth. I think it's called bismuth. I'll have a look on Amazon. But that was a dream. What does that look like on the other side? So if I'm right, that came off that way. So we'll put it back on the same way. I'm pretty sure it's not... It doesn't have polarity, but... That's it. Still out of focus. Sorry about that, guys. Pop that. Back on. Okay. What do we think? Okay, let's go. Let's give it a shot. There we go. Oh, it's on. Am I going to go to the bottom of the screen? Yes, I have. I've got sound. Twitch screen's working. Confirm, confirm. Is the game going to work? Now I'm holding this with the battery in. Let's just see if we can get a... 
the Mario Kart action. Do I have to turn it off and turn it back on? Yes, we have Mario Kart. So, it would have. I'm, I'm thinking the machine's been dropped. It's knocked the this little inductor off, inductor coil, whatever you want to call it. But the system does seem to be working. So it's just a case of removing this bottom board and fixing this uh, to get a working system. I might do that in another video, but I'm going to keep this one short. So if you do have a Nintendo DS Lite that won't switch on, check around. It was quite a simple one. The known battery. You want a known working battery um, and then check for any signs of damage on the board and that might help you solve the problem. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.